Hi, Fifi. Hi, Sarah. Say hi to the camera now. Hey, Samuel. Sam. What's up? You my dance partner today, okay? All right, don't forget that. This is Miss Judy's graduation party from medical school. All right, Judy. Girl, I'm proud of you. Did you get me Samuel? This is a beautiful hall. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love your dress. You will. Say hi to the camera while I got. I forgot my selfie stick. So I'm gonna have to hold this like that. What if I want to be in the picture? This is Dr. Judy. Ain't she pretty? I'm the cameraman, but should I say the camera woman? You gonna pose for me? You gonna strike a pose for me? No? Okay. That's the mom in the orange. Who is that? What's up? Hi, nice to see you. <laughs> I know you don't recognize no, me. <laughs> I don't know how they have the doctor out there doing stuff. We should be doing this stuff for her. I know, that's what I was saying. But she won't let us. That's the doctor in the orange. Or is that Peach? Anyway, the nice dress, that's her. Yeah. <laughs> You're supposed to be in front of the camera, not behind it. That's where you're supposed to be, girl. Strike a pose. You gonna strike a pose for me? No? You're hiding. You gonna hide from me? All right then. That's Dr. Judy in the dress, the orange looking dress.
That's the two brothers right there. That's that's big brother and young brother. Samuel, what's up? I thought you was the DJ now. What's up? Hey, show me what you got. Show me your moves. All right. Come on, Sam. Come on. I know that's right. You finished?
to touch the lives of the people that I see. Because a lot of the people that you're going to be meeting along the road just need hope. And they just need someone to say you can be better and you can you can get out of this bed. And sometimes even when they're not going to be able to get out of that bed, you have to be that person that tells them it's okay to let go. You understand what I'm saying? It's going to be the, the, the walk that you're going to walk. But learn to be a blessing walking down this path. And remember also to always have time for yourself. When you do this, it swallows you if you let it. So definitely understand that uh, it's not by power. Some of us have done it like that. You really didn't work out. <laughs> you get burnt out quicker. So definitely don't don't let it be all I need mean, all. Let it go and be all. So I know the family through Chin and I, I know the family and I can't say this is a praying family. These are some praying people. Your mom has prayed for me and my family has been praying for me years and I appreciate everything that I've gone through with this family. I've stayed at Chin's house, I've gone to a church program. I truly, truly enjoy this family. Without faith, it's impossible to use God because God is the Lord of those visions. 
diligently seeking. As he's diligently seeking, he will bless you, he will reward you. And we will continue to have um, reasons to celebrate. And your mom, she said that she's so proud of you. Um, she's proud of your resilience and how uh, the course you've adjusted and will continue to be an advocate for minority groups who are there. And you just continue to represent everybody so stunningly. And just proud of you. Thank you for what you do over at Wake Forest and how you've left an impact. And you will not be forgotten there ever at all. And I'd like to love you. Just one more verse um, from Proverbs chapter 8, verse 17. I love those who love you, says the Lord, and those who seek you diligently will find you. God is continuing to reveal himself to you in ways that you can never, ever, ever forget, ways that you can never imagine, and ways that you've never seen before. Just continue to hold fast to faith, continue to hold fast to what you know to be true, and God will continue to reveal himself to you. We love you. We're proud of you. You're so amazing. Don't forget about we're afraid about us in Charlotte. <laughs> Go be our surgeon. Well, it's my daughter, and I met Judy. My daughter and Judy became very fast friends. Mm -hmm. And one thing I've always admired about Judy is her joy. She has always, always been the happiest kid I ever knew. <laughs> And it reminds me of a verse that says, the joy of the Lord is my strength. That's Judy in, in a verse. <laughs> so I want to thank you, Judy, for being Olivia's friend. Because it's made a difference in her life and in my life. And you and your family have always been a blessing to me. So I pray that as you go forward, you will share that joy with the world. And I know you will. So, thank you, Judy. God bless you.
is your therapy. That's straight from the Lord to you. So I just want to release a prayer of blessing over you. That all the beautiful um, encouragement. But I really want to pray that the Lord will give you divine strength, yes. divine energy, supernatural divine wisdom, insight, foresight, revelation, and understanding into the deep mysteries of the medical field. That you, my beloved, will be the one who is the pathfinder and the trailblazer. That inventions and solutions and cures in science and medicine that have not yet been discovered. May God discover it through you in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you. 
Hallelujah. Father, we thank you so much for who you are. Father, we thank you for your unfailing love, your grace, your mercy, your goodness, your kindness to us. We thank you. Oh, we thank you that you are our God. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord, that you have adopted us into your family. Lord, I give you praise. Lord, I thank you for the nation of the United States of America. And I thank you for the opportunity that they have given us, Lord, to come to this country, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Be who we are today, Jehovah. We give you praise and we give you honor. We thank you, Jehovah, for our friends and family that are here. I bless your name for the gift of friendship. I bless your name for the gift of family. Thank you. Thank you, Master. Thank you, King of Glory. Hallelujah to your name. Papa, I raise my child to you. I give her to you, Jehovah. Lord, you say that which we entrust into your arms are faithful to keep. You have always been faithful. From generation to generation, you have proven yourself to be a faithful father. So we bring her to you once more, Jesus. We ask you to lead her. We ask you to guide her. But I pray that she would never cause pain to know her. I ask you that you will expand her territory. I pray that your light will shine upon her. I pray that heaven will exude from her. She will manifest your kingdom wherever she is. In the operating room, in the world, wherever. Oh, Jehovah, that your kingdom will be known. Jesus, make her an instrument. An instrument of honor to you and to her family. May she continue to serve you and serve her fellow man. I pray for humility in her life. And she will continue to increase, oh God, that she will be low and you will be exalted. Oh Jesus. Bless her going in and her coming out. Judy, we say you are the head and not the tail. Yes. yes. You are above and not beneath. Yes. Men will see you and they will know that you are the posterity that the Lord has. Hallelujah. No weapon from the Christians. Every tongue that rises against you. We say you will close on the way. You will not be continued. Many more. Because greater is the 